Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a how to incorporate colour into your wardrobe kind of video. We all know that means I don't know exactly what I'm going to word it yet, but I get so many questions and so many comments about how colourful my wardrobe is and generally, I think it's mostly on Instagram, people are like, your whole Instagram feed is an explosion of colour. Um, but I always get questions on how I wear colour, how I make certain things work. So I thought I'd put together like a few little tips and a few little ideas for you so that if you want to incorporate some colour into your wardrobe, hopefully this is helpful. Helpful. without looking like some kind of like cookie monster rainbow although let's be honest I permanently look like a rainbow and I'm okay with it but without going to OTT as always if you want to catch up with me if you want to chat to me if you want to DM if you want to comment if you want to just basically hang out online then head over to Instagram my blog Twitter everything else is also linked up below but yeah let's go start with a video I'm excited about this one I'm glad someone is okay so my first tip would be if you are super scared of color and you don't know what to start with is to maybe start with an accessory. I absolutely love a good accessory. For me, I tend to go for more like classic colours because the rest of my wardrobe is so colourful anyway. However, if you've been subscribed to me for a little while, then you might have seen I made a little purchase in the form of this. This is the JW Anderson, I think it's like the pierce bag or the mini pierce bag. But anyway, I thought I would show you it as an example because I feel like it might show up kind of like neon orangey colour on camera. But this is like a really, really beautiful, fiery, kind of slightly orange red but it is just kind of like a block red colour. I've loved the style of this bag for so so long, so 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 long, ever since it got super trendy and then even after when people kind of forgot about it a little bit I've always loved the style of this bag but I have a you know the Gucci Marmont black bag which I love and obviously wear to death um, and I have lots of nude bags but I thought that if I was going to invest in another piece then it might be good to bring a little colour in and I absolutely love red because even though it's bright, even though it's stand out, I feel like it's still a classic. It goes with a lot. It's not like a super random yellow or super random green. It's still going to go with so much in your wardrobe. And I feel like this is the perfect piece to wear with maybe like an all black outfit or a monochrome outfit. And it will still never look too much, but always look incredible. Um, but it doesn't have to be a bag if you have some like coloured boots that you like. I love a red boot. I feel like you guys will know this by now, but I love a red boot. Um, I also have like the super space age silver boots, which I pair with like very neutral outfits a lot as well. But I feel like if you're looking to bring colour into your wardrobe in some way, then an accessory is a nice way to do that. Because also if you're like, oh my god, I'm out with the brightest thing of all time, then if it's your bag, you just plop it to the side. Plop it to the side. You just put it to the side and then it's not like there for all to see anyway. But yeah, an accessory is a nice idea and I personally absolutely love a pop of red as well. If you're feeling a bit more risky, I was going to say risque and then realised I was going down a completely different path. Then rather than just an accessory, you could focus on maybe one statement piece. So for me, I have a haul coming up or you may have seen it. I'm not sure which order these videos are going to go out with, but I recently bought... This I feel like is a bad example because I feel like there's lots more very colourful pieces that are much more wearable than this and I know that this will be love or hate but I recently bought this and paired it with just jeans, a black and white tee and some plain black boots and I loved it so much. Obviously with this kind of thing keep everything else neutral otherwise can you imagine if you then had like bright red trousers on like you're going to look a little bit insane and that's cool I'm about embracing insane sometimes but if you want to kind of make it work and still feel chic and not like a chicken because let's be honest like sometimes I feel like a bit of a chicken in this or just sunshine which actually I'm not complaining about um, then keep everything else neutral the other item I absolutely love for this is some red jeans and I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram you'll know this because oh my god I took them to Paris and had like a thousand photos in them and then they were also with me in New York again all of the photos and I've worn them so much here as well but Again, I feel like red, even though they are so bright and they definitely get a lot of comments, I don't feel like they're too crazy. Red is such a like classic colour that I do feel like they still manage to look chic, even though they are the brightest things of all time. And they're super comfortable as well. They're super versatile. And I personally prefer to wear them with either a beige um, jumper or again, like a black or a white or a black and white top. So you're not going too crazy. You're still keeping it cool, but it's kind of that like, that like cool and chic monochrome, but with a twist, a big twist in the form of a big red pair of jeans in between but 
I like them. Also on that note, a colourful jumper. You could definitely, definitely, definitely get away with just some plain denim jeans, maybe some trainers, a neutral jacket or a coat and a bright jumper. That always looks really nice as well. That's kind of my daily wardrobe at the moment and I never ever feel like I am too much or I never feel like people are looking at me like, wow, she is literally a rainbow. It's just kind of like a nice pop of colour. My next tip would be to incorporate the colour into a pattern so you're not just like one big block colour. This is a dress that honestly, I'd be interested to know if anyone's been around for a while and remembers me having this like even over a year ago because I bought this from River Island maybe around a year ago now. I definitely had it last April because I took it to New York then. I, I would love to know how many times I've worn this. I have completely rinsed the life out of this dress I'm okay with it, I love it, I still wear it to death. Again, if by Instagram you couldn't tell that I love pink and I love red, then you will know now. But I feel like red is that classic colour, so you can kind of get away with it. And especially in the spring and summer as well, I think it's like a super beautiful colour. Because this is patterned, I feel like it makes it a lot more wearable, not too over the top, not too dressy, not too crazy. Just like a fun spring summery piece. However, having said that, I've also worn this dress all throughout the year. I wore it recently with a jumper and some over the knee boots, and I loved that outfit so much. It looks incredible on its own with some flats or some trainers and some boots I just love it I think it's super versatile and I think there's so many especially in places like ASOS and Topshop at the moment there's so many um, patterned tea dresses oh, they're my favorite thing in spring ever um, but there's so many good colorful pattern dresses that are so pretty and so beautiful but won't make you feel like over the top or like you stand out because I feel like that's a reason a lot of people don't like to wear color is they feel like they look really obvious or they're like screaming from the rooftops hello look at me and personally I'm like I would rather just sink back into the corner and not have anyone looking at me so I do understand why people kind of hesitate and draw back from colour a little bit but I feel like pieces like this are firstly what a lot of people wear in spring anyway but also just a super pretty addition to your wardrobe. Another tip would be if you're a little bit scared about wearing colour on a daily basis or out and about because you feel like in the daytime it's a little bit too much then maybe if you have a special occasion bring out the colour then because I feel like especially at an event or a party everyone might be super dressed up everyone might be a little bit glam anyway and I feel like you'll definitely just blend in a little bit more um, obviously I am not afraid of colour in any way but recently I went to the NTAs which was so much fun and I didn't really know the dress code until the day before so I bought a couple of dresses and um, the same style from River Island I bought a nude version and the pink version um, and then I found out like hours before I went that the dress code was actually like full-on glam um, and there was something about the bright colour that just made me feel a little bit more glamorous and a little bit more kind of not put together but like I was making more of an effort I know it's weird but I put it on and I was like no this is the one once I've accessorized it up this is the one I feel like full-on glam now so yeah if you have a party or if you have a special occasion especially something like an award ceremony or something then I feel like you can never go wrong with color because everyone is going to be pushing the boat out also another little thing that I just thought of was if especially if you're London based but if you are based somewhere where there's kind of like a bit more of a vibrant area near where you live um, then maybe try something colorful for the first time there so for example if you lived in London if you walked around in Shoreditch honestly in this green trousers red boots like the most wild outfit ever no one would bat an eyelid and I feel like that's quite nice because if you're a bit scared of color or you feel like you're gonna stand out or you feel like people are gonna think you're insane then it's kind of nice to go to an area where no one is gonna care what you're wearing um, and everything in like somewhere like Shoreditch is so colorful anyway that that's kind of a nice way to like introduce colour to your life and to your wardrobe. I'm kind of a bit of a go hard or go home girl so for me when I first started to really enjoy colour and I was like pink and red are absolutely my favourite things ever right now the first thing I did was went out and bought a red trouser and blazer suit combo kind of thing do you know what I'm talking about? I hope you do because I can't explain myself right now. <laughs> I don't have it with me at the moment because it's somewhere in my wardrobe my wardrobe is like Narnia it will probably take me about 10 years and five miles to dig in and try and find it um but one of my favorite favorite pieces in my wardrobe is the red um blazer and trouser suit and honestly even though it's so bright and it's so colorful i feel like paired with some trainers and a t-shirt i never kind of get 
strange looks and I feel like it's so put together and it's so chic that no one really notices that I look like a telephone box so that's another thing go hard or go home if you want to wear colour just embrace it go all out I'm not saying like mix a million different colours but maybe like a nice bright cold would be cool and finally if you're like look I know you're a rainbow but I just these tips aren't helping me, I'm struggling to embrace the colour, then something as super simple and easy and minimal as a bold lip will also work. I love a bold lip so much, mostly because it just completely brightens up your face and when you've had not much sleep because you've spent all night watching Grey's Anatomy and definitely look like you're half asleep, then a bold lip is the first thing that I go to always. But honestly, finding the right colour for you is so important and will make such a difference. I have all the lips in the world, in case you already hadn't noticed. Um, so I honestly was a nude lip girl and didn't wear anything but nude lips for years and years and years. And then I found the Sephora lip cream in 03, I think it's called Strawberry Kisses. And it's kind of like a matte um, liquid lipstick and it's a, almost like a raspberry red. Um, and I'd never really gone for that colour before. Tried it on and immediately was like, this is my red. This is what I love. This is what I feel comfortable in. I could wear it in the daytime. I wouldn't care. I would always feel comfortable in that colour. And I think finding that colour for you, even if you're wearing an all black outfit or, or completely neutral monochrome outfit, um, then that's one way of getting a little bit of colour in and just kind of like amping up your look a little bit. The only other thing that I would have to say is just don't care what anyone thinks or don't even listen to yourself. If you're feeling like oh, I don't really want to bring attention to myself or, you know, I don't know if colour is for me. Just do it. Just try it. Don't care. Only live once. Oh God, I'm getting like all philosophical on you. But honestly, like, who cares? Try it one day. If you don't like it, don't wear colour again. For me, when I'm wearing colour, I just automatically feel a little bit brighter. And it's the one thing that I get so many comments on, um, on these videos, but mostly on Instagram is just like, seeing you in your colourful jumper has brightened my day and like you always wear colourful outfits and it always puts like a smile on my face and I just think that that's so nice and if it can work like that for you as well then do it. But yeah I really hope that video was helpful. I get so many questions about colour and generally just like my wardrobe and what I go for and tips on how to wear certain things so I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any other kind of like fashion-y tips, how to style, ways to wear videos that you'd like to see, please do let me know because I would absolutely love to see them. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. If you do subscribe and if you are already subscribed, then I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.